Do you want to hear this sound? Yep, I know you do. I can help you set up your new Cricut Joy. Now you might be one of these three people. Number one, the procrastinator, the one who leaves your machine in the box. Number two, the adventurous, who tried and failed, but couldn't get their Cricut Joy to work. Number three, sitting on the fence, just in case you're thinking about getting a Cricut Joy and you're not sure. This video series will support your decision. I know you'll love what the Cricut Joy can do and be happy you found my how-to videos. My name is Donna. Welcome to another video from Junk Journal Ideas and I'm doing a collab with Cricut Australia. Whether or not your Cricut Joy is still in the box or you've tried and couldn't get it to work, I'll show you how to cut out a test on both vinyl and cardstock. And once you've done this, I'll show you how to get and cut this using Cricut Design Space on your new Cricut Joy. Now in this video, you'll be learning how to install the Design Space app on a Windows computer. You will get your ID so you can log in. You'll need an email address and a password. And you'll be doing a new product setup which links your Cricut Joy to your Design Space account. So let's get started. I've made a cheat sheet for you. You can go to my website. The link is in the description below. You can go and get this and follow along. The website that you need to get your download is in the envelope that you'll get in the box. Turn on your computer and go to Google. Then type in cricket.com forward slash setup. It's best to type this into the bar at the top here rather than the search bar that's usually found in the middle of the page and then hit enter. Then it's going to open up onto this page here. Now the Cricut Joy is a cutting machine so I want you to left mouse click on cutting machine. And we're installing the app for the Cricut Joy. So left mouse click on the Cricut Joy picture here. Now we're on to this page. There's three selections here. Now you need to check the checkbox to be able to move on. Check the box and then left mouse click on download now. We're going to open up on a new page and it's actually doing the download right so the app is going to start downloading you'll see it happening in the bottom left hand corner of your screen here a little blue line starts to circle around the icon when it's finished it's going to change and it'll flash like a green dot so what you can do then is if you're familiar with doing a download you can go to your downloads folder, but I'm going to show you how to do it a bit quicker than that. You don't need to go to your downloads folder. Just go to where it downloaded in the bottom left hand corner here and right on this box here, left mouse double click on this .exe file and it will start installing on your computer without having to go and find it in your download folder. So that just makes it a whole lot quicker for you. Now there it is, it's installed. If your computer's pretty fast, it'll install quickly. If not, just be patient and wait for it to finish installing. Once it's finished installing, it'll open up and look just like this. What it also does once it's installed is it puts a shortcut icon on your desktop. Now all your desktop is, is this screen on the very front of your computer when you first turn it on. That's your desktop. All right, so now we've got to finish our setup to get our ID. Now I've already got my ID and I've already done my setup. So I'm redoing it to show you how to do yours. So the app is automatically going to go to the next step, which is select your country. Now on the little arrow here, the down facing arrow, left mouse click on it. 
I'm in Australia so I'm going to left mouse click on Australia and then left mouse click on this green button here apply so that's done now you go up to the top right hand corner here and left mouse click on this little down arrow and select the Cricut Joy so if it was on Maker 3 you would change it to Cricut Joy now on mine it says welcome Donna now I've already got my ID and I've already done my setup so I'm redoing it to show you how to do yours I want you to move on to the next video where I'm going to show you how to pair your computer with your Cricut Joy you'll need an email address and a password you also need to make sure you've got Bluetooth on your computer See you on the next video.